Hello, my friends. It's Sean Petit with DecoArt Media Design Team, and I am here today to create this cutie. And I am going to be using some jelly plates and some Americana Premium paints. You can see here I'm using some specialty shapes, and I'll also be using a 5x7 jelly plate. No brush today. I'll only be using my brayer and maybe a few other things, but no paintbrush needed. Americana Premium paints in a variety of colors. I will also be using um, some 4x4 cardstock, an 8x10 MDF board, and some vintage papers. So I'm starting off by putting my vintage papers down with some Americana Premium Matte Medium. I'm putting my papers down on a surface that has been gessoed, and these are just vintage papers. Putting them down, and I'm using my credit card to make sure that I get a very um, even surface so that I can get good contact with my jelly plate. I'm going to cover the top and the bottom of those papers, get it nice and sealed and ready for all of the goodness that we are going to be putting on top of it. So I've got my 5 by 7 jelly plate out here and I've just put it down on a piece of acetate so that I can use it like a stamp. I've got my journal ready so that I can brayer off onto my journal and I'm putting down some Americana uh, Titan Buff uh, premium paint and I'm using gesso as my white and I love using gesso um, as my white because it gives me just a bit of grit. So I um, took off a little bit of that paint after I brayered it down and just so that I could get a nice light coverage and I'm using deli paper to take off my papers and I'm mixing the colors because I want a variation of colors. I don't want it to be all the same. So again, Titan Buff and some Titanium White, or Titan Buff in my gesso, my deli paper, and it also gives me some texture, some movement within that, that print. And I'm just lifting my 5x7 jelly plate up and using it like a stamp. And so now I've got some raw umber and some gesso, and I want to give this some nice age and grunge and really kind of grungy it up a bit. Pulling that back off just to lighten it up, scrunch that deli paper up and really get some good um, pattern and texture on there. And then just kind of lay that down here and there and just really get a, get a good kind of grungy background. So now I've got my 5x7 and I'm using it as my palette. And I'm going to take that specialty shape that's like a quatrefoil almost and use that to create some pattern on my background um, to give it some interest to kind of push back some of that grunginess and really just to add some interest. Using my brayer and just brayering it on and I'm using my gesso. Gesso gives your piece of nice ground. It makes it kind of chalky and um, to me gives it a real great vintagey feel. And I don't have a plan as to where I'm placing my designs here. I'm just placing them where it feels right and doing it kind of odd shaped, uneven numbers. And I love how this works to push that background back and it gives it just the right amount of pattern and interest. So I'm working with teal and gesso now and just covering my five by seven. And I'm going to scrunch up my deli paper and get some texture on there, some pattern. Using a stencil, I'm going to get some additional shapes and different things like that. Just adding some interest to that. Then I'm going to grab my 4x4 squares of cardstock and place them down. And this is just going to work as the background for our hearts. I'm just going to repeat the steps 
just adding some variety, some different patterns to the background, some bubble wrap. Bubble wrap is always good on a jelly print. Some lines with my brush. just wanting to make sure I get all the areas fairly covered and just get some variety uh, um, some interest in that those little tiny backgrounds So now I want to I want the the backgrounds those little tiny backgrounds to, to again have a little bit of age to it. So again I went back to the same colors my burnt umber and my gesso and um, wanted it to be really light so I took that back off and then just quickly did I'll oh, see it's perfect beautiful age doesn't hide the teal but again it it blends with the with the background. So now I have mapped out my four by four on my five by seven jelly plate so that I have a template and I know exactly where to put my four by fours. And we're going to create our hearts. And they're very simple. And I start with two basic colors, um, the main color and then maybe a highlight color. And then we're going to continue to build layers on those hearts. I don't um, wipe off the paint because it, sh it allows me to see where the heart, where we've been painting. And so you'll see here that I just continue to build layers. And so each one uh, will have different colors um, in them and yet still be very much the same. And so don't be discouraged if your first print on your little four by four squares of your heart doesn't turn out exactly like you want it because the layers that we put on and the highlights and all of that are really going to pull it together. And I just love how the jelly, there's nothing like it. You can't duplicate the look of it. And I love how after we get all the colors in, how wonderful the hearts look when we add highlights and different things like that. So I'm going to just continue to layer and add color. And once I get the first two colors down on each one, then I come back and add my highlight colors. All of the supplies will be listed on the DecoArt Media blog, full, full supplies of everything that I used. So now I'm coming back with my highlight colors and each one I choose a color that has, it's, that's just a little bit lighter. I'm adding my color and my gesso um, to kind of make some variation in the colors that I have. And now our last highlight for our heart.
And the more imperfect the heart is, the better. Now I'm putting down each one with my Americana Premium Matte Medium. I've printed out some words on some tissue paper and I'm putting those down with my Matte Medium. And now I'll begin to add the shading and the depth. I always shade the outer edges. This is just my style with a black soft pastel. I'm going to use a charcoal pencil in extra soft to shade around the heart, all of the edges, around the words, around everything. Then I'll go back in with my black soft pastel and add just a little bit more shading around the squares. And that's it, my friends. Super simple, super easy, no brush needed. Um, again, all of the supplies will be listed on the DecoArt Media blog, along with um, more instructions and details on how I created everything. And um, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next project.